It wasn't my intention to play a character, or certainly not a lead character, although I had done it on my first one. The first one I did out of economic necessity just to get the financing. And in The Dead Don't Hurt, it was not my intention, and for a very long time, I'd written the role for another actor, but he unexpectedly left us. He abandoned ship for another ship. And unfortunately, it was so late in our stage of pre-production, my co-producers said, well, might have to wait till next year then. I said, nah, I don't like that idea because movies that wait till next year most often don't get made. So let's strike while we have the financing. In the end, I said, well, I'll play it myself, rewrite the character, make them a bit older and so forth. So it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal to do it. It just wasn't what I had planned to do. Next one, I won't. <laughs> I said that last time too. <laughs> it was really good to work with Sally McLeod. It was really nice that he was able to be present at our premiere here in Glasgow because he's, a, in a sense, a local boy. I had heard about him and I thought he could be really right for this character. So first we talked on the phone and, and I said, if you'd like to read the script and consider it, this is the character. I gave him a little bit of background to how I saw the character. He read it, said he liked it, and I said, okay, well, the accent needs to be a certain way. Can't be the way you speak. How much time do you need? He said, give me a few days. I said, that's it? He goes, yeah. And so a few days later, we Zoomed, and he was great. He was already fantastic. And I thought, okay, he has the right mixture. He'll be able to get across this, what is essentially a sociopath. He can be very charming, but he can also be lethal, just mercilessly uh, savage. And he's a great nemesis to Vivian in particular and to my character. Well, it's my first time here. I understand that they're celebrating their 20th anniversary, which is kind of an honor to be at that. I'm keeping the tote bag that says that on it. And it's also the 50th anniversary of that particular cinema, which is great, a great place to see any movie. And I know, I've learned that um, Glasgow is a, not only a film-loving place, but a cinema-loving place. So I'm very happy to have come here and, and premiered The Dead Don't Hurt at the Glasgow Film Festival. Mm -hmm.